The Steam Deck is an amazing piece of hardware. You can run AAA games on it. And the best thing about this handheld console is that it runs on Linux. Now, if five years ago, if you had met me and told me that Adesh, Linux is actually famous now, I wouldn't have believed you. But it happened thanks to Steam Deck. Its OS is called SteamOS and it is based on Arch Linux by the way. And while it runs supported games perfectly out of the box, it does have a few shortcomings. For example, there are no printer drivers installed on the Steam Deck. Now you could install the drivers on any other Linux distribution, but because SteamOS is an immutable Linux distribution, you cannot use traditional package managers to install applications on this OS. So what's the solution? What if you want more customization in the desktop mode of the Steam Deck? After all, the Steam Deck has a touchscreen and a macOS style desktop would be much better for the Steam Deck instead of the KDE desktop they are currently shipping. Well, the problem to this solution is Bezite OS. No, no, don't click away. This OS looks exactly like SteamOS in the gaming mode and in the desktop mode as well if you want. It ships with the latest Mesa drivers, printer drivers as well as all the tools which can enhance your gaming as well as desktop experience on the Steam Deck. This OS is also not exclusive for the Steam Deck and you can install it on your PC or laptop if you want and enjoy the power of Linux there. And in this tutorial, we will take a look at how you can install Bazite OS on your Steam Deck. So let's get started. First of all, you need to download the Bazite OS ISO file, which we will use to install the OS. Visit this site, scroll a bit to the bottom and select your hardware. Since we are using the Steam Deck, we will select that. Also note that Bazite now supports 64GB model of the Steam Deck. This was not the case earlier, so you can install it on the older model if you want. Now select your desktop environment. Pick KDE if you want the desktop to look just like SteamOS. But I want more out of the touchscreen in the desktop mode, so I will select the GNOME edition. Don't worry, the installation steps are pretty much the same for both editions. Now we will also need another tool called as Ventoy. This will be used to flash the OS to the USB device. And this is probably the right time to mention that you will need at least a 16 GB of USB storage and a connector so that you can connect it to the Steam Deck. If you have a Type-C USB storage device, then you can just use that one instead. Once the ISO and Ventoy is downloaded, go to your downloads folder and extract the Ventoy archive file. Go to the extracted folder and then run ventoy to disk.exe. Let's plug in our USB device now and hit refresh. So yes, my USB device is getting detected and as you can see, ventoy is already installed. But in your case, you will have to click on the install button. Note that this will erase all the data on your USB device. So make sure that you are selecting the right storage device and back up your data as well. Once Ventoy is installed, all you need to do is copy the downloaded ISO file and paste it into your Ventoy USB device. I have already done that and my ISO image is named Bazite Deck Gnome Stable. Let's remember that. Now don't worry about the other one. It's the desktop image for installing Bazite on the PC. Let's move on to the Steam Deck now. Shut it down fully first of all. Plug in the USB device using a connector and press the volume up button and power key together to go to the boot menu of the Steam Deck. Once you have entered the boot menu, navigate to Setup Utility with your D-pad and then go to Advanced. Use the A button to select by the way. From Advanced, go to USB Configuration and if this option is set as DRD, change it to XHCI. If it is already set to XHCI, then don't touch anything and simply back away and navigate to the boot settings and enable USB boot if it is disabled. Do remember to save the settings by pressing the menu button on the Steam Deck. If you did both of these steps correctly, then you will be booted onto this screen of Ventoy. You will be only shown the single option to boot into Bazite Deck ISO, so just press A on the Steam Deck. Again, a boot screen will give you an option to either just install Bezite or test image and install Bezite. Just press A again. It is always good to test media before installing as to check if the ISO didn't get corrupt or something while downloading. Before we proceed any further, like and subscribe if you made it this far in the video. Now from here, my capture card stopped working, so apologies for the hand recorded video. The trackpad and the touchscreen works, so you can use both of them to navigate this installer. Select your language and then hit next. For me, it is English India. Now from this screen, you'll only have to change the installation destination option. Open that menu and then select your Steam Deck's internal storage. And then select automatic configuration. Since you will have the SteamOS already installed on your device, 
this installer will warn you that there is no space available and that you will have to reclaim the space. Just do that and from this menu just select delete all so that your same deck can be formatted properly for the website installation. Finally, click on reclaim space again. If you have a physical keyboard attached and want to create a personal username and password, then you can do that from the user creation menu. Do not go in there if you don't have a keyboard attached to the Steam Deck because that menu doesn't support on-screen keyboard and there is no way to go back. A default Bazite user will be created for you with the password Bazite. Finally, begin the installation. This process can take five to 10 minutes, so go grab a coffee. Okay, so that took about 10 minutes. Just hit the reboot button from here and make sure that you remove the USB device when the Steam Deck is turned off. Finally, let's go back to the capture card while the system is getting powered on. The first boot can take some time, so don't worry and have some patience. You'll be greeted with the language selection screen first of all, and then you'll be asked to select your time zone. And then you can connect to your home network. Just select your Wi-Fi name and enter the password. This will now download a quick update for Bazite and remember to always apply an update after installing any Linux distribution. To rule out any kind of bugs, Bazite just does this automatically for you. It will reboot once again to apply the update. And then finally you'll be greeted with the Steam login screen. Just enter your username and password or simply scan the QR code from your Steam mobile app if you have that set up previously. And here it is, Bazite in its full glory. Let's just skip the introduction. And from the gaming mode, you'll not see much difference between Bazite and SteamOS. So let's just jump to the desktop mode. This is the Bazite OS GNOME Edition welcome screen. Let's take a quick tour from here and you can quickly install Deculator and Emudeck if you want. There are other tools as well for your convenience. I want Deculator, so I have selected that option. Just hit next after selecting what you need and you'll be asked for a password. Now remember that the default password is just Bazite. So you can enter that here and everything will be installed. From the next screen, you can select the system behavior to some extent and install some drivers if you use those hardware. Open RGB and open reserve for RGB control to your peripherals and so on. I have hidden the grub menu as I want a seamless experience while booting up and I left everything as a default. And it's done. You now have successfully installed Bazite on your Steam Deck. This is how the GNOME edition looks. And these are all the applications that comes pre-installed with this OS. Vaidroid is here if you want to emulate Android and Android games on the Steam Deck and Proton Plus and Proton Tricks to further customize the games if you want. You can also go back to the gaming mode directly from this menu if you want and let's go back there to see if Decky Loader is installed. As you can see, Decky is right here. We have covered this tool in detail in another video so you can check that out to know the full potential of Decky. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you found this video helpful and check out our other guides if you find them interesting.